What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys hanging out down here on a Friday. More fun from the mu museum. More big... Uh, Questions and discussions. And here's a, a topic of discussion uh, that I want to get into today with our Star Trek Mego figures. Has Mego boldly gone? where no man or no toy company has gone before with their Star Trek toy line. Have we seen Mego do enough with the meat with the Star Trek line line of figures? Have they given us enough? Have they have they met the dema demand? We 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 want to we want to delve into all of that as we look at many figures and many sets that Migo has given us in the last three years uh, since their return. But is it enough? Have we seen enough from Mego with their Star Trek line? Are you happy and satisfied with the characters that are being manufactured, produced? These are the questions we, we, we want you guys to ask uh, right underneath this video in a comment section, guys. Has Mego Corp boldly gone where no toy company has gone before? Has Mego produced the figures, the Star Trek fi figures and characters that we want, that we cry, crave I want to know, guys, and then I'll give you uh, some insight onto you know how I feel about it as well. But we won't pull any punches, guys. We, we're we're not going to uh, we're not going to uh, sugarcoat anything. And I only have a uh, the, you know I have a, there's more figures. I just couldn't put them all up here. So you see, I'm, I'm I'm moving figures around. By the sheer volume, you have to say that Mego has done their job. They've met demand. They've met consumer demand. They've met uh, fan demand. They've met uh, collector demand. Just by sheer volume of the characters that they put out. But now listen. If you look deeper into that volume, you're going to see that there are, and I know because I'll just say it for you guys. I know what people have been saying for the last two or three years. Well, it might be we have, you know, like multiple Spocks, multiple Kirks. So that's why, you know, that's why the, the, the volume is higher than it would normally be if you took away a lot of the, the Kirks that were produced and manufactured and a lot of the Spocks that were manufactured. That number wouldn't be as high. Uh, okay. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. 
we do have a lot of Spocks. We do have a lot of Spocks. You know, we have the, the very first two-pack set that was released in 2018 when Migo came back on the scene. The Spock and Kirk um, Mirror Universe set. Then we have the the Green Shirt Kirk. Uh, we all know about the Green Shirt Kirk and how crazy this figure made everybody trying to search and hunt down the Green Shirt Kirk. And then the Wrath of Khan came out where you had a much, uh, for one, you had a newer head sculpt. An older Kirk and an older Spock. But it was still Kirk and it was still Spock. And we have a dress uniform Kirk. I have the dress uniform Spock. I didn't even want to bring him up to the stage though. You, you guys get the point of where that's going. <laughs> we have a lot, guys. Listen, I understand uh, for people that's going to, and you're supposed to. I, I want to hear from both sides. I want to hear people uh, defend Migos um, thinking on this. I want to hear the other side as well. And there's an in-between side. There's people that are sitting right on the fence. I want to hear all three sides. You know, people that 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 are going to rightfully defend Migo about all of the Kirks and Spocks are going to probably say, well, listen. You know, we wanted to see Kirk in different outfits. Outfits that we would have loved to seen him in Back in the 1970s, like the 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 mirror, the mirror universe. You know, I would love to see that, you know, but somebody said, well, you know, we had that uh, MC Toys came out with that figure years ago. We didn't we didn't really need to see that figure again. And you have a, a dress outfit, Kirk here. And somebody uh, is going to say, well, this figure was the third or fourth Kirk. We were Kirked out at that at, at this particular point in time with Migo. I would say to that, hey, I like the I, I like the outfit. And I have them. Wrath of Khan, uh, that was a fantastic movie. Uh, a lot of people didn't have problems with the uh, with the choice of figures per se, but as we look at a uh, con here, uh, beautiful head sculpt, great figure. I think we would have lo loved to seen more characters from the Wrath of Khan motion picture, more characters. Maybe Khan's number two guy as well. And more uh, of the uh, Enterprise crew. I mean, outfits are beautiful. Love the phasers, communicators, the outfits. Beautiful uh, head sculpt for Kirk as well. And same for, for Spock. Uh, beautifully done. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm tired of the live long and prosper uh, hand. That's just me. What do you guys think about that? As we sit here and ponder and try to rationalize why uh, Migo has produced so many figures of the same character, and we try to rationalize and ponder if Migo has given us enough of Star Trek.
Now, I love uh, Kang the Klingon. Beautifully done. Beautiful figure. It's one of my favorites, actually. This is a weapon. Nothing, nothing negative I could, I could I could say about that figure. It's a, just a beautiful figure. It is. It's, it's, it's just an absolute beautiful figure. You had the... Um, Oh my goodness, uh, the Tops Mego. And we're, I'm not going to touch too much on that. I know it's a sensitive subject uh, with a lot of collectors, a lot of fans of Star Trek, a lot of fans of Mego. It's a very sensitive subject. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna touch too much on it. But I do wanna point out that there were some uh, Star Trek figures, uh, exclusive figures in the Tops Mego uh, offerings from Tops, and people. There was another another Klingon figure, and people really lost their minds about that because we want to see these figures readily available in retail stores or in toy websites. So to have more Star Trek figures that you only can get for one week and for the people that don't have uh, the budget to be able to buy week to week, that's going to be a problem. For the people that need a little bit more time and a week's hourglass is just simply not enough time for a lot of people. Even if they wanted to, it's just it's just a matter of time. So that was an issue. So now that Klingon figure, it's going to be, I uh, can't think of the name of the, of the, 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 the figure. I didn't buy it, uh, but somebody knows the, the name of the Klingon figure that was um, the Topps Mego offering exclusive figure. Leave it in the comment section. Leave his name in the comment section right underneath this video. We love to hear it. But that figure automatically becomes extremely, extremely rare, sought after, desirable. Anything you can think of. But a lot of people don't feel that that was fair. We want these figures. We've been asking for these figures. And to have them only up for one week for purchase is 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 to, to me it was crazy especially for the star trek fans and there's a lot of, i hear i read a lot on my my channel through the comments through the videos that a lot of people they only care about the Mego and, 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 and collectors have their favorites but the star trek collectors only care about Mego star trek figures so imagine being a star trek figure a, a, a fan and collector and that figure is only up for a week and you're jammed up. You're caught in between that week and you can't purchase it. It sucks. Guys, it sucks. Plain and simple. Fans have been asking as we stand here and look at Mc Bones, Dr. McCoy, and Scotty. Fans have been asking for Scotty and Bones for almost three years. When Migo brought out the first uh, few um, Kirk, Kirk and Spock figures, we were asking for McCoy, aka Bones, and Scotty. But the majority of the collectors, Migo collectors and purists, wanted the original McCoy. And the original Scotty. Now, listen, both of these figures are fantastic. And we'll get into uh, the Dr. McCoy figure in a minute. But we want to focus on the two figures themselves. Um, they were highly 
saw it after they, they uh, people kept talking about it. Original excuse for Migo was uh, or explanation. I don't want excuse sounds too harsh. The original explanation for not having the Scotty and, and and Bones figures was the fact that they were not in high demand. They were not in high demand. That was the original explanation. I personally disagree with that. As a Star Trek fan, I wanted uh, uh, Bones and Scotty right along with the other thousand or so collectors out there. We're not a big community, guys. We're not a big community. The Mego community is extremely small. And yet it took us nearly three years to get these two figures. And when we got these two figures, they were not the originals. Uh, now you can, um, I would love to hear both sides of that story, how you feel when you got these figures and were you satisfied with the fact that they were not the original figures? Write in the, the comment section, guys. We want to hear that. Now we can focus on Dr. McCoy, a.k.a. Bones. Or, or a.k.a. Uh, the Ghost McCoy. We call him that because of his extremely pale complexion. Uh, something with the plastics that had this this figure come out and was not as didn't have the same skin tone a lot of people say it looks like the salt vampire got to him true false we don't know guys we, we were left to make up our own um, theories about this now Migo has since corrected this issue. But people had to go out and, and purchase another figure. Or you could turn it in. At one point, there, I think uh, Migo had a situation where you could turn it in. Uh, your old figure, you had to take a picture of it, and they would send you out another one. So we want to give Migo respect, uh, and they're just due on that correction, you know, and trying to make the correction. And Migo's been pretty decent with that. You know, they, they have worked with a lot of uh, uh, collectors in that regard. But a lot of people simply were, simply was not happy with this figure. Or the Scotty figure. I like, I like, once again, I like them both. But I, I absolutely positively see both sides. Gorn was, uh, uh, the Gorn figure is fantastic. Uh, my, one of my favorite of, of the aliens is the, uh, Romulan commander. I didn't have him as a kid growing up. So naturally having him now was fantastic. So I, I have a ton of, uh, the, the Romulan commanders. He came out back in, oh, I want to say 2018, maybe 2019, somewhere around there. Uh, the salt vampire Beautifully done, beautiful head sculpt. Not as popular though with collectors. I don't know if because they, you know, people have the MC version, like they have the Romulan MC version commander. Uh, your thoughts, guys. Has Migo done enough? Has Migo quenched your thirst for Star Trek? We look at the two pack. The horror and Sulu set for the Mirror Mirror Universe. Uh, beautifully done. This is a fantastic head sculpt of Sulu. Um, beautiful outfits. Everybody complains about those collars. Beautiful box art. Beautiful packaging all the way around. I have uh, two Sulu, uh, two uh, Ahuras, and it came out with just a, a basic 
uh, Ahura. I didn't bring her up here today, though. Then we get into our... our uh, gift set here. I think this was only... This was an exclusive from uh, Think Geek. The problem is, though... We had to give our guy Terry Jackson all the credit in the world. This is a Christmas gift from Terry Jackson a year or so ago. And we appreciate it. It's one of my favorite gift sets. Uh, I'm a huge Spock fan. So this this gift set, Spock gift set, Star Trek gift set, it's fantastic. But you couldn't get it in certain states because Think Geek is not in certain regions of the country. Which left a lot of collectors frustrated and angry. And the explanation uh, for Migo when this was approached to them was that, hey, you know what? Connect with the ambassadors, uh, fellow collectors, and see if people can help you out. I got a better idea. Why don't you make it national where Targets are carrying this, Walmarts are carrying this, regular stores are carrying this, or you can you have a website with or Target's website is carrying it. How about you just make it available for everybody? That was my that was my theory then. That's my theory now. And I've always had a problem with it. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough. I'm very fortunate enough to ha have it. I still know collectors collectors that don't have this. Your thoughts, guys. Uh, like I said, it's a beautiful set. I was like a kid on Christmas, literally, because this was a Christmas gift. Kid on Christmas, receiving this beautiful set. And it's beautiful, guys. Make no, make no mistake. So, you know, the ultimate question is, once again, has Migo done enough? As we look at the Mr. Spock, one of the, the, I think this is the second offering of Mr. Spock from Miguel Corp. Another one of my favorites. This is the one that is pretty much uh, close to the uh, original 1970s version that we know. And Migo is bringing out more, more figures. It's our Sulu, our Chekhov. These were the two that came out opening uh, opening day for Mego back in 2018. So all the Trek, uh, uh, Star Trek fans were uh, Trekkie fans were excited about that. The Mego fans were collect uh, collectors were excited about that. I was excited about it. And Mego has. Quench Star Thirst for more Star Trek fan, uh, uh, figures in 14 inch style. The 14 inch figure is back. And let's move it. Let's move our, our our Ghost McCoy out the way so you can get a better look at this figure here. Blown out here. I'm going to get the Gorn figure. I'm going to get Kirk, but I really wanted Spock. Comes with the two, uh, the extra set of hands. A phaser, communicator, uh, great, great likeness. Just a blown up version of the eight inch figure. Let me go get him. Put him right here. It's a blown up version, but it's cool. I, I think that was a nice touch to make him 14 inches tall. So Migo has made the effort in my eyes to add more um, characters to Star Trek, to give us more, more characters to Star, Star Trek. The question is though, 
How do you feel about it? They have more. Um, they have another set of, uh, they got, what's the, um, oh my goodness, what's the other one? They have a, a, another, I tell you what, I'm going to bring in one of those characters. Hold on one second. And, and we're back. Star Trek Discovery. Guys, I'm sorry, I didn't, I need to get my second cup of coffee. But, so, Miko has reached out further, expanded further into the Star Trek universe. So they do have the Discovery figures as well. A little dusty over here. So they have a um, a number of the Discovery uh, figures, Star Trek Discovery figures. Uh, Saru is by far one of the most unique and coolest offerings um, that Mego has really put out from any line of Star Trek figures, any of the characters. He's by far definitely one of my favorites. I found this Saru in uh, Walmart, actually. Uh, beautiful, different feet, boots, sculpted very nicely. Everything about this through figures is, is, is fantastic. Very unique and original. And I think that's what, as a collector, a Star Trek collector, an Amigo collector, we're all looking for. We, we, we want those our figures to be unique and original. A lot of people struggle with this figure. A lot of people were tired of the same head sculpt for Kirk. This is why um, Kang the Klingon was so well received. I think people found Kang the Klingon a breath of fresh air. Unique, having never really been made or designed before, but beautifully done. Just a breath of fresh air. And that's how we feel about Saru. And somebody said, well, MIB, you're, you're answering your own question. Uh, look at all of the beautiful figures and uh, two-pack sets and exclusive sets, gift sets, and 14-inch figures that Migo has provided. Good point. But we want to know from you. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? I've heard this talk before. I've, I've, I've heard it. I've heard it over and over again for the last three years since Migo's return. People are just not, believe it or not, people are not satisfied with the Star Trek offerings that Migo it's manufacturing, producing, putting out, whatever you want to call it. They're not satisfied. It's still not satisfied. And we're just trying to get the, to the root of that dissatisfaction. That's all. We want to hear it all, guys. Your thoughts, your opinions, everything matters, guys. No holding back. Speak your mind. Feel free. You know the routine, guys. More fun on the way. More holiday. Uh, Halloween, right, you know, upon us. We want to kind of get away from Halloween for a second. But we're going to get right back into character in the next few uh, videos. So stay tuned, guys. You know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.